Uh, what poster is that? Not very nice. Not very nice here at the Undead Burg, or the Undead Settlement, or whatever the fuck it's called this time around. Come on, Poochies. Come on, pupper. Get out of here. It's the one problem with these dogs, because they go flying when you hit them with a greatsword. Oh, okay, yeah. Don't link it here if it's not safe for work, then. There was a third puppy. Where'd he go? I hear ya. Hi, boy. Ooh. Clever puppy. <laughs> Ooh. You're gonna be a problem, aren't you? Got ya. Alluring skull. Look at all these poor undead pilgrims that couldn't go any further. Please, grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll let you die. You got a mission to upheld first, though. Time for me to become king of everything. Because given the option between either sacrificing myself to usher in another age of gods that all the gods are now dead, uh, letting it turn into total, complete darkness, or... Letting it turn to total, complete darkness where I'm the only pillar of light. I will take me as the God King on this planet any day of the week. I will be a God oh. King. Damn it. Oh, then it's true. A champion of ash as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I'm over here, vagina face. I am Yol of Londor. A pilgrim, as you can see, only somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling lies elsewhere. That is one hell of a poster Say, there, Mari. Champion of Ash, how does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I was once a sorcerer. Surely I can be of use. Yeah, I will accept your service. Oh, I am honored. Truly, I should be dead, yet you have granted me purpose anew. Where's your face? I, Yol of Londor, do solemnly swear myself to you. All right, Yolm. See you back at the Convergence and all that shit. Time to become a hollow. I love how the story in this universe goes that being a friggin' walking corpse is humanity's natural, uh... Well, it's, it's what should be. People should not look like people in this world. They're supposed to be hollowed out husks.
Now we get to throw ourselves off a cliff over and over and over and over again. Ooh, yet to give in, eh? Mm-hmm. Good. The firekeeper must be twitching with delight. But what do you really know about these lords of Cinder? These supposed legends? Let's take Aldrich for one. A right and proper cleric. Only he developed a habit of devouring men. He ate so many that he bloated like a drowned pig. Then softened into sludge. So they stuck him in the Cathedral of the Deep. And they made him a Lord of Cinder, not for virtue, but for might. Such as a Lord, I suppose. But here I ask, do we have a sodding chance? <laughs> At the foot of Lothric Castle, an old path still runs below the tower in the undead settlement. It was used to transport sacrifices to the Cathedral of the Deep. You should see where it leads. If you've the stones for it. <laughs> Everything's funny At here. The foot of Lothric if ah, shut up. I'm glad I kill you. Whee! Yom, what's up, buddy? Oh, our champion of Ash. Welcome home. This pilgrim, with a debt in death, hardly deserves to behold this divine flame. And I never would have had you not taken me into your service. I thank you dearly for this. And assure you of my leal service. As I have said, I was once a sorcerer. Alas, the magic of Londor is a far cry from the wonders of Vinheim. But I can teach you what I know. Perhaps more importantly, I believe that I can help tease out your true strength. We pilgrims of Londor are keenly aware that those branded by the dark sign possess something quite special. As I have said, a blah, blah, blah. What do you have for sale? Spells that I give two shits about. That's all he has for sale. But the best part and is we begin? free upgrades. Bearer of the dark sign, let your true strength shine. Yeah. Be safe, champion of Ash. Time to become a hollowed asshole. Oh, hello, and in one piece. Do me a favor, give them. Goodbye. Oh, this place is up. <laughs> All right. Wrong door. That's what I'm looking for. Goodbye, crew world.
Goddamn loading. Ready to be juiced again, I think. Oh, I would do anything for my master. Just say the word. Then shall we begin, bearer of the dub? The best part about this is they're basically, uh... They're free levels. So in things like this, trying to get my, uh, equip load up, you don't feel guilty for using them. Be safe, champion of Ash. Now, the price you pay for it means you become a hollowed out husk of shit. But, it also introduces a new NPC, which is really vital. Unfortunately, she's got one of the cooler armor sets in the game, especially for a female character. And the only way to get that armor set is to kill her. But that is not what we plan on doing today. Give me that. Whee! <sighs> if you accept the, uh, Yom or Yarm or whatever the hell his name is, uh, giving you these free level ups then what happens is a dark sign forms on you which let's take a look there it is the dark sigil accumulates curse a black gaping hole in the flesh that resembles the brand of an undead but the darkness of humanity seeps from this bottomless pitch black hole and the gap filled with the accumulation of the curse this dark sigil will never heal but there's a tale told of a fire keeper who returned from the abyss and brought great comfort to the bearer of the curse. Now this is important because all undead have something very symbol similar to this. Instead of the Dark Sigil, it's called the Dark Sign. Semantics, yes, but there is a slight difference. I'm not undead in this game. I am unkindled, which means I'm the accumulation of a bunch of assholes that tried to light the first flame and failed. Being that they were all undead and can't actually die, when they got burnt up into nothing, the ashes kind of all accumulated into people like me. So I'm actually a clusterfuck of all the characters who have ever played this game before. And the whole point of this game being that you're not even kindling at this point. If the, if the guy... If, if the undead in the first game was kindling and he had to go kill all the lords to get the lord souls to use that as actual firewood, then you are nothing but resin trying desperately to keep that flame lit for a few more years. <clears throat> I.e. it's not going to work. That's why this is the third and final game of the series, supposedly. Which is why I like the Usurper of the Flame ending better. Because whatever time the world's got left, I want to be in charge of it. 